Standard functionality in Salesforce does not give you the ability to clone account records. Now, I'm not sure why that is, but you'll notice as far as my different list of actions here from the account page layout, I don't have a clone option. You'll note that opportunities and several other standard objects inside of Salesforce do give you the ability to clone records. Here I am on an opportunity, you see the clone button. I can clone that by just clicking clone and it fills in a lot of the details around this particular cloned opportunity and you can go in and rename it to change it to make it more unique in nature. And so cloning is a helpful feature that is available from a lot of standard objects, not only opportunities, but I'll just show you leads here as well. And the infamous Bertha Boxer, you'll see her in a lot of the free Salesforce orgs. And you notice you can clone contacts as well. So with the limitation on accounts, what you'll need to do is you'll need to do some setup and you'll need access to the setup menu inside of Salesforce. That's the gear icon in the top right. So if you're not an administrator, if you don't have access to create or make changes to the configuration of your org, you'll need to contact an administrator. For those of you that do have access, just click on setup that opens the setup menu in a new tab. And then you'll need to follow the directions in this particular help article. I'm gonna walk through this in video form, but basically I'm just demonstrating what is detailed here. And we've just performed the first step as far as the first part of the first step, as far as navigating to the gear icon and then we'll need to select object manager and then the accounts object and then buttons links and actions so let me go ahead and show you how that's done and so inside of setup menu clicking the object manager and then selecting the account object and then there's this link here on the left buttons links and actions and you'll notice that there's a lot of different buttons links and actions available on the account object but you won't find clone and so what you need to do is select a new button or link not a new action but a new button or link and then you'll need to label this you can call it whatever you want but to be consistent with other objects and functionality I would recommend you just stick with the word clone and so you've got options here for display type and we want to select detail page button I'll just reference back to the help article here display type detail page button and then also I want to go ahead and grab the text code for the link that we're going to be adding here in a moment and so I'm copying that to my clipboard but the behavior will be display an existing window without sidebar or header and content source is URL and so content source of URL behavior display an existing window without sidebar or header for the actual link I'm going to paste what I copy in the clipboard I'll check syntax and there's no syntax errors in the merge fields or functions so I'll click save and so there's a warning the new custom button will not be displayed to users until you add it to the page layout so you can click close to dismiss that and that completes step two back here in this help article step three is that it notes that once the button has been created it'll need to be added to the account page layout okay so if I go back into setup and I'm on the account object, I can go into page layouts to see what page layouts I have. And here's a quandary because there are four page layouts and I'm not sure which of the four is assigned to me and which that I'm viewing whenever I go into an actual account record. So I'm gonna go into an account record and, and just a note or confirm, clone does not appear here as one of the available buttons on the page layout. So one thing you could do is you could go in theoretically at least and make the change to each of the four page layouts but I want to just for sake of time adjust the correct page layout for the one that I'm on here so what I'm going to do is show you a little pro tip or hack on how to get to the correct page layout that is currently displayed and I'm going to click the gear icon and instead of selecting edit object which I normally do to get to the object manager for in this instance the account object I could click on edit page and that will launch the lightning app builder for the account detail page the account record page for accounts and what we can do after I close all of these pop-ups that come up that are kind of annoying in the lightning app builder I can navigate to the details section of this page layout by clicking on the tab here in the canvas and you notice that it doesn't show the page layouts here but as soon as I click inside of here it updates and this is the details body section it will give me the assigned page layouts list here and it lists all four of the page layouts for the account object but this note here for preview tells me that this is the particular page layout that I want it's the one that I'm currently viewing otherwise I'd have to go through and figure out through other means which of the four do I need to edit or edit all four basically so I'm clicking on that to open the enhanced page layout editor for that particular page layout and now we've got a couple of things that we need to address and first of which would be the mobile and lightning actions and here's our new action that we just created called clone 
and I need to scroll down to show you that there's a quick actions in the Salesforce Classic Publisher and then Salesforce Mobile and Lightning Experience actions. And so I need to override the predefined actions by clicking here and this gives me the actions available for me, many of which have already been added. Once you override these gray out, the ones that appear down here, I'm gonna click and add clone to my list of actions and buttons. Okay, so I've added clone to my list of actions. I'm gonna click save. And so now let me go back into an account. And what I'll do here, I'm not going to save the lightning page here. I've made changes to the underlying page layout. So I can just click on back here and confirm to leave the page. And so now I'm on account record and you notice that the clone button now displays and appears. And so I click clone and that will take me to a new account with the details from the previous account filled in for me already. And I can then go and make changes to whatever fields in order to use that clone record as a starting point to branch off from and make changes to. So that's the process of creating a clone button on the account object. And if you found this Salesforce tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce. I might just make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.